Welcome to Brief Crypto. We review the talk and action around crypto and sum it up. Today is Friday, July 20. And today's video is for entertainment only. Looking at the markets on CryptoBubbles.com. Green day for crypto. Looking at the top 100 tokens on CryptoBubbles. We have Chainlink up 19%. Synthetics up 7.5. Stellar up 4.5. Compound up 6.5. Maker Protocol up 3.6. Near up 3.3. Cosmos up 1.5. Polygon Matic up 2.7. Let's look by market cap. Bitcoin's down 0.3%. Ethereum's up 0.1. Cardano's down 2.4. Bitcoin Cash is flat. It's up 0.2%. BNB is up 0.7. Polkadot's up 2. Going back to the day. So red day for crypto. The hour is red as well. Very red. Um, we have Compound up another 2.8. XRP up another 2.7 over the hour. So green day and green hour for crypto. Bitcoin, we're still watching this cup and handle. There's the cup, there's the handle formation. And uh, we're still consolidating in this flag, in this uh, channel right here. We're down near the support on the channel. Have been all day down around $30,000. We're currently at $29,912 for Bitcoin. So we continue to watch whether this breaks up through resistance of this channel and the top of the cup, or we the, whether we break down through support of this channel, forming, the, forming this bull flag and come down and hit possibly a 0.5 or, or a 0 0.618, 0 0.65 Fibonacci retracement. The golden pocket currently on the Fibonacci retracement from this swing low to this swing high is right around this uptrending support line from back in December of 20. 22 still well above the 200 day simple moving average, which is paralleling this, uh, fairly long-term uptrending support line for Bitcoin. So Bitcoin's still looking very good. You know, if we come in and look a little closer in here, we've been in this trading channel for quite some time. We are down near the bottom of it now, but it could head back up, break through resistance at any time or break down through support and head down to possibly one of these Fibonacci levels or even the support below the golden pocket. We'll continue to watch and report on that. Yeah, but it's per really pretty good news that we're at just still in this trading channel when we have things like this happening. According to CryptoPotato.com, U.S. government sells another 8,200 Bitcoin on-chain data confirmed, slowly but surely ridding itself of its Bitcoin connected to Silk Road. Less than the government's first confirmed sale of 9,861 Bitcoin in March, this one was 8,200 Bitcoin. The government still holds 195,307 Bitcoin. These are related to seizures from other criminal incidents, including the Bitfinex Act. So look, Bitcoin still remains right as we would expect. And it's right in between the having two and the having three fractal from the Bitcoin having cycles. We're in having four, pre having four uptrend right now, having four expected around April 27th of 2024. And if we can, if we respect this uptrending support line, we'd be up around uh, 55,000 for Bitcoin by the halving. And so things are still looking very good following the pattern, just as we would expect. Uh, we do have the fourth week of a doji, fairly doji candle, three weeks of pretty decent doji candles for Bitcoin and this little bit bigger body on this one we're in now that's going to close in three days and three hours. The NASDAQ uh, retraced a little bit today. This is looking at a weekly on tradingview.com. And so we're down 0.64 for the week for the NASDAQ. Uh, you can see it came up and almost breached the, the resistance line of this uptrending channel, but we're still above the 50 point, uh, the middle point of this uptrending channel. I have been for some time right on along resistance of this channel for the NASDAQ. Dow Jones took off a little bit more. So it actually went up today. This is looking at the weekly. That's up 2.08% broke through. Uh, we have this downtrending resistance line, uptrending support line. We are coming to a point and it headed up from there. We're only about 5% down from the peak of Dow at this point. Same with the NASDAQ. I think it's about 5% down. Let's take the measuring tool from the peak of the NASDAQ down to where we are now. So from the peak to now, it's been um, 86 weeks, 602 days, or down about eight, 9% just using the measuring tool. 
So looking at further news on cryptobriefing.com, despite its past uh, past uh, uh, of unreliability, a quarter to 2023 Solana network maintained 100% uptime. According to the Solana Foundation's network performance report, representing one of many enhancements made to Solana's network infrastructure and performance during the first half of the year. So maybe we will not see any more downtimes, significant downtimes for Solana. The network managed by an extensive independent group of validators worldwide has shown improvements across several performance metrics, including the ratio of non-voting to voting transactions, block production time, and transactions per second TPS. So looking at Solana, Solana is actually looking really good potentially for a for a trade, not financial advice, not a financial advisor, but we did break up through this uh, downtrending resistance line from back in May of 2022. And we were coming to a point with this uptrending support line, uh, the VPVR, um, we've got this nice drop off the cliff uh, VPVR. So not a lot of volume in this area here that can sometimes lead to a quick rise in price in that area or decline, depending on which way you're going. But in this case, rise in price, and we don't really see a whole lot of uh, structural resistance until we get up around $87 for Solana and really even until we get up to $137. So from where we are now, that's a, a 239% gain to the first resistance, 368 to the third and to the last one, 437, just using the measuring tool. So, uh, you know, this might, be a little bit gone, but you might for a trade, it wouldn't be bad to see it come down and test this now, hopefully support line for Solana that was previous at previously a downtrending resistance. And if so, possibly put in along, let's look if we put in along somewhere down around here, up to here, putting the stop loss down underneath this, uh, resistance line. So somewhere in there. So that's, you know, a 9.43. Um, so that's a really, really decent trade with good, uh, um, uh, reward to loss ratio. So, so not financial advice, not a financial advisor, but Solana's looking pretty good there. And if there's less outages, that's one of the things that impacted price. The other thing was, uh, SEC naming it as a, uh, a, um, as a security, but with the XRP victory that, that is somewhat somewhat uh, uh, resolved potentially, and then also with uh, the Terra Luna crash and then some of the crashes that occurred out of that, we got a lot of drop in Solana. So Solana is setting up to be a potentially a pretty good trade not, and a nice spot to possibly be dollar cost averaging in. Yeah, not financial advice, not a financial advisor, but looking at further news on CryptoNewsFlash.com, compound and polygon price shows bullish patterns. Not really sure they don't really go into what bullish patterns they're talking about other than the big increase in price but compound price prediction according to this article on cryptonewsflash.com analysts are now even more bullish about compounds future and estimate that the altcoin can reach new heights according to a compound coin price and analysis conducted by experts comp has the potential to reach 116 dollars by the start of 2024. so look at the comp chart it actually is set up really nice for uh, potentially a short term trade or even just dollar costing average dollar cost averaging in DC aiming in 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 a longer term uh, scenario. And um, so because we've have this downtrending channel that we've been in, we broke through resistance on that downtrending channel. So if, again, if we came down and tested that resistance and that became support and we bounced off of that, that would typically be a good time to enter the trade. So right around here for a long. And if we got up to the upper portions up to this third and you know possibly you take out some profit as you go along putting in the stop loss again just under this resistance line well that's a 12 uh in terms of a profit to loss so that's a that's a nice trade setup for potentially for compound again not financial advice not a financial advisor but this chart's looking very good the v, vp vr is also or vrvp is also looking very good we're up at this cliff let's go ahead and move this guy out of the way and you can see we're right up at this cliff coming down into this valley and there's nothing up into these levels. So we've already gotten some of that move, but uh, it's looking pretty decent, especially if it comes back and, 
and retest that previous resistance line on this downtrending channel. The other one they talk about in this article is Matic, Polygon Matic. Bullish patterns behind Polygon could indicate that another massive surge in value is expected, and some bullish analysts might even predict a price well above $1.20. So looking at the Polygon Matic chart, it's much messier than the compound. Compound's in this nice downtrending channel that's broke. Gives you a nice entry point and a nice stop loss. Matic, not so much. So um, you do have this uh, downtrending resistance, uptrending support. Not as nice of a valley in the VRVP. Um, uh, it's below the 200 weeks uh, or 200 day simple moving average, whereas compound is above. And a lot of times we get that price surge. But Matic, you know, this could be an early point to get in on Matic. I suppose it came down and retested the support and bounce. That may be a good time to put in something there. Um, that would be one way to do it to keep your stop loss at a reasonable level. And, you know, if you put it back up in around uh, the downtrending resistance and you put your stop loss in right down below the support, something like that, you know, then you have a 13.18. So that's a nice potential trade setup. I don't think it looks as nice as the compound, but this isn't a trading channel. We're just going over uh, this article. So uh, again, not financial advice, not a financial advisor, but Polygon, you know, definitely, uh, definitely looks like it's a, or it, it, it's looking like from the charts that it's in a good time to dollar cost average in for the long term, potentially for a good setup for a, a short term trade. Uh, we're going to be looking at Grayscale. We haven't looked at Grayscale in a while, crypto related investment instruments. So, so we want to look at the Solana Trust because it's kind of the oddball in terms of trading at a premium. You can see that up here in the gray line, that's market price per share. And the green line is the holdings per share. So 37 to buy it and you get $9.74 worth of holdings of Solana in the trust. So it's trading at a significant premium. And, you know, these Grayscale Trusts do this. If you look at the uh, Bitcoin Cash Trust, it traded at a premium for quite some time. And now it's come back to where it's more in line. It's currently trading at a 6% discount. So you do have that happen, but looking at those again, crypto related investment instruments, Grayscale Trust and some stocks related to crypto. We have the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust is trading at a 27% discount ETH, Ethereum Trust 37% discount. We did get a little bit of a decrease in the premium related to GSOL, the Solana Grayscale Trust went from 348% uh, premium to 280% premium. Bitcoin Cash is trading at a 16% as of last post, which was a uh, close of yesterday. So still great year to date returns on all of these trusts, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, and Bitcoin Cash for Grayscale. Uh, the, the lowest one is 144%. Bitcoin Cash is up 434% year to date. And uh, likely um, these have more room to grow, especially in 2024 and 2025 after the Bitcoin having it on April 27th, 2024. So some of the stocks that are related to crypto riot platforms, uh, Bitcoin mining, other mining stock, and it's up 430% year to date. Uh, Marathon Digital, another mining stock, 375% MicroStrategy, of course, holds uh, a large amount of Bitcoin on its books, up 202% year to date, and then Coinbase, up 177% uh, to date. And the last time I looked, this is where the pricing was generally just going to a, an even number. And so this is another way to get some exposure to crypto without actually buying crypto. Again, uh, thank you for joining today's Brief Crypto. If you like today's video, please subscribe, hit the like button, the notification bell, and share it with others. Today's video is for entertainment and education purposes only. We are not financial advisors. You should always do your own investment research.